Hey guys, welcome back. This is AJXG here with another video. I'm sorry, I have my AC on in the back. So if you hear any noise, that's, you know, from my AC. Um, today, I just want to talk about some of the giveaways. So you guys have been so great. I really love my community. So I'm going to be doing a 700 subscriber giveaway. There's going to be a Gleam link in the description down below. But if you stick around further in the video, you'll find out more of the steps for the giveaway. It's not just the Gleam link. So if you do the Gleam link only, you're not going to be able to get the giveaway. All right. So let's get into this. So today we're going to talk about some laptops. So it's almost back to school time. Yes, I know there may not be physical back to school time but you still have to go back to school whether it's virtually or not so you want to be you're going to be looking for a laptop for you depending on your major um, I'm going to be giving laptop recommendations especially for people that are in a CS major because you're going to need a higher power PC but also for other majors um, and this is like a, you know going back to school slash gaming or slash streaming slash whatever um, video content um, so yeah, so let's get into this. So that's for laptops. Like I was saying, you want to get a i5 or higher or a Ryzen 5 or higher. If you're going to be doing some type of gaming, video editing on the side or something like that. If you're literally just doing basic work, getting on Chrome, getting on Zoom, you can use a Chromebook. You'll be perfectly fine. Um, if you're just like doing document stuff, Chromebooks are perfectly fine. If not, if you want something with a little more power, definitely recommend an i3. Um, most of them come with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so for the first laptop, we have a HP 14-inch uh, laptop. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM and it has an Athlon 3000 series. So that kind of is on par with the i5 7th gen okay not the i5 10th gen the 7th gen mind you uh intel 7th gen were the best cpus uh that they put out <laughs> in a long time so a laptop and this is only 350 bucks it only has four gigabytes of ram and it has 128 gigabytes solid state drive now what i do recommend is a 8 gigabyte ram always because four gigabytes is like the bare minimum and it has windows 10 windows 10 takes up i think about two gigabytes of ram alone so you only have two gigabytes of ram to play with so i definitely recommend for this for those of you that don't want a chromebook but also don't have more than $400 to spend on a laptop, this is a great option. Later on down the line, you can definitely throw in another stick of RAM on your own, or you can take it to like Geek Squad or Easy Tech and they'll, you know, put it in for you, obviously for a charge. But if you do it yourself, it's not that hard. I think I have a video of me swapping out the RAM of one of a laptop. I might have it linked up here. Um, sometimes I mess up and do here and here. It's, it'll be in one of these corners and it'll show, it has a video showing you how to install the RAM into a laptop. All right, so let's get on to the next one. Okay, so the next one on this list is a Lenovo Yoga. This is a double price jump from the last one. This is $700. It has a i5 10th gen CPU with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 solid state drive. So you get double the RAM, double the storage, and a newer processor so that is where the $350 come from um, this is a great option if you you know want to play some games on this laptop now I'm not saying you're gonna get triple-a titles on this laptop but you know if you want to play on a laptop you can that's perfectly fine I will also have gaming laptops in the description down below so if you want gaming laptops specifically that you can do work on those will be in the description as well HP and the Lenovo. The Lenovo is $700. Uh, of course, all these links will be in the description down below. Well, what about Macs? Macs are a great option for people that are comfortable with the Mac OS. If you're someone that's, you know, listen, this is the Mac OS. I need the Mac OS, so I can't function without it. Then go with a Mac, okay? I always tell people, if you were a Mac, stay with a Mac if you're not ready for the complexities. <laughs> of having a windows pc because you have to like having a windows system you have to literally upkeep it um yes macs don't get viruses as often as pcs but lately they've been making people have been making more viruses for macs because more people think that macs can't get viruses which they can so amazon has the macbook here 900 dollars it's pretty much the same specs as the last laptop I showed you guys for $700 by Lenovo. Okay, you have to pay that Apple tax. Okay, people, 
Um, also, I do recommend checking out Apple's refurbished website. They like a refurbished website. Also, if your parent is an employee of the state that you live in, typically state employees get a 10% discount. Also, if you are a college student, which, you know, if you're watching this, you may be, um, you get a 10% discount as well. But you should check out Best Buy for that. Best Buy, Apple Store, um, I think pretty much all the stores do that, but I know for sure Best Buy does it, and I know for sure Apple does it, 10% for students. Um, so this is 900 bucks with the same specs from the last one. Now, the reason why I recommend a Mac, because it depreciates way slower than Windows PCs. So let's say you use it all four years, you spent $900 on this laptop. After four years, you can still sell that laptop for like $600. So technically, you use it for four years and use roughly $75 each year on this laptop, right? And then you sell it for $100 to someone or you keep it because Max tend to last way more than, you know, the five years expectancy for a Windows laptop, okay? I'm just letting you know. Now, for you Windows users, if you're going for computer science, you're going to want to just use Linux. I'm going to just throw that out there. If you use Linux, it'll last forever. Like I've used a laptop that's 10 years old and it has Linux on it and I have no problems. Now, certain new software, I do have problems, but like running basic tasks, perfectly fine. Can I program on it? Yes, I can without any issues. So that's your prerogative. So you can get a MacBook Air, that is $900. Now, if you want a MacBook Pro, that is a jump from $900 to $1,300, okay? That's a $400 price jump, jump. A $400 price, am, can I not speak English today? It is a $400 price jump from the MacBook Air to the MacBook Pro. Again, you don't, if you're gonna get a Pro, you're gonna be doing heavy tasks. That's all I'm going to say about that. If you're not doing video editing, if you're not now gaming on the Mac, I'm not even going to touch on that. You can play Sims. You can do that. Um, but yeah, if you plan on playing anything seriously on a Mac, don't buy a Mac if you want to play games. Just simple as that. Um, yeah. And I'm going to show you a gaming laptop that kind of looks like a Mac and it's in the same price range. So if you want to look into it, check it out so remember I just showed you a MacBook that is $300 right so you can get a Razer Windows PC but it's the Razer brand okay you can get an i7 9th gen CPU a dedicated graphics card uh, which is a GTX 1660 Ti 144 Hertz display it has 256 storage okay solid state drive and it has 16 gigabytes of RAM for the same $1,300 you're going to pay for a MacBook that you can't game on, that you can just do, you know, browsing the web and video editing. The Razer, you can do video editing, gaming, streaming, all that because it has a Ethernet port. So I hope these laptop options were helpful for you guys. I showed you bare minimum, middle ground, you should be Gucci. I showed you a MacBook, MacBook Pro, and I showed you a gaming laptop. Now, Razer is a pretty great brand. You know, they have okay customer service, but if you take care of your stuff, you should be perfectly fine. Also, if you check out Mercari, they have stuff on their website. Uh, people are selling their own. Someone's selling, I think, the same model for like 1200 bucks. So go check that out. Um, so the giveaway is going to last 30 days. Okay, make sure you do the Gleam link. Make sure you are subscribed. And I'm going to post a video at least once a week. And all you'll need to do is like and comment on that video. Um, not just commenting first, just comment something about the video that you enjoyed. And that's all you need to do to into the giveaway. Thank you guys for watching. This is AJXG here. AJXG out.